Hello everyone, welcome to another question and answer session for MRCS examining. Here the question, a 33 years old man develops a complex tibial and associated fibular fracture that is managed in a cast for 6 weeks. On a removal the cast, the patient noted to have foot drop, whose nerve is most likely to be compromised. So according uh, to the question, the key points here that a 33 years old man develops a complex tibial fracture associated with fibular fracture so tibial and fibular fibular fracture and it is managed by the cast for six weeks so the leg is immobilized for six weeks that means one and a half months on removal the cast patient noted to have foot drop so this point is important patient drop foot drop which nerve is most likely to be compromised so we have to find out one of the nerve which is responsible for this foot drop so here the options options are obturator nerve sciatic nerve, tibial nerve, common peroneal nerve, medial plantar nerve. So we have to find out one of the nerve which causes foot drop in this patient where a cast is given in tibia and fibula for six weeks. First of all, let's see a cast. Here we can see this is the cast and a patient is sitting with the cast and the cast is given up to the mid thigh as their fracture occurs tibia and the fibula so the immobilization occurs and due case of the immobilized of the limb or any part of the body it will be most affect the area where there is close contact with the bones so here we can see this fibula and this nerve that means the common peroneal nerve it is direct contact with the bones so pressure in the common peroneal nerve may cause affection so in the first picture you can see this is the common peroneal nerve it goes down down and it encircles or it curves the fibular neck so it is very possible during the long time immobilization to pressure in this area and we can see the common peroneal nerve then dividing into superficial peroneal nerve and deep peroneal nerve so here pressure in the neck of the fibula there will be cause the injury or compression to the common peroneal nerve so in case of long type of cast there may be injury to the common peroneal nerve or friction to the common peroneal nerve to the fibula neck other nerves such as the posterior tibial nerve and other nerve they are not closely related to the bone so there is less chance of impaction of the nerve and this point is very important here that means the foot drop foot drop uh, occurs due to sciatic nerve injury or common peroneal nerve injury or deep peroneal nerve injury so in case of hip area deep any uh, injury occurs in the hip area that causes damage or injury to the sciatic nerve and causes foot drop then fibular neck if fibular neck uh, in this patient we saw the injury occurs at the fibular neck area and it is caused by the common peroneal nerve and in, if occurs in the leg area that means below the uh, he, uh, head and neck of the tibia and fibula there it will be compression of the deep peroneal nerve so this uh, three nerve in the three area are important for foot drop if it is hip area then sciatic nerve if it is fibular neck area then common peroneal nerve and if it is leg area then it is deep peroneal nerve and in this patient we saw that hey, it occurs at the fibular area so it is by the common peroneal nerve it uh, if they told it is hip area then it would be the sciatic nerve and if they denotes it is the leg area then it be, would be the deep peroneal nerve but here uh, we know that this is the tibia and fibular area so it is sciatic it is common peroneal nerve not other option thank you all